The organic paintings were uh, a series that developed in the, um, around uh, 2016 uh, after a phase of, um, of research uh, in, the, um, in the field of nature uh, that had been um, initiated by a couple of trips I did in the north of Europe, uh, specifically in the region of, um, of Ostrobotnia in, in Finland. Where my wife resides. I mean, she, that's where she's from, and uh, we, I, I call them retreats. So I started studying on paper. From paper, I grew up into aquarelle, aquarelle on oil, and from oil, I found new linearities that I brought back onto canvas uh, at the start, at the end of 2015, start of 2016, um, and uh, the organics were uh, the first series of such. Um, that I grew to call this whole phase I've been into since uh, 2015 to 16, um, the abstract organic phase, and uh, which is actually a, a, a retool uh, into uh, linearities, uh, some kind of approach to um, uh, to maybe a far cry of figurative art uh, into my abstraction that was uh, up to then. Uh, basically more uh, or completely um, camped in architectonics. Uh, now, my, the relation of my art with the south of Spain also has uh, a continuity. It's sure that uh, living in Tarifa and now in Marbella and um, here in this gallery, we are always very close to uh, the nature. We opened a light gallery just across from the beach. Uh, on the east side of Marbella, like we had done in Tarifa uh, last year. And the connection to nature is always central uh, in my art and in my lifestyle. And uh, then on, uh, apart from the segment I develop on memory that has to do with my identity, uh, nature has always been very central to my work. Um, thank you for asking about the purple. Um, as you can see here, uh, that was not by uh, hazard that I placed myself here next to this one. Uh, it's called Homage au Nafia de Monet. Uh, since as a kid, since I'm a kid, uh, I have a love for the, um, uh, for the Impressionist uh, palette, and more precisely, uh, Monet's later paintings in Giverny, where he did the Nafias when he was growing uh, um, short-sighted. And um, why is that? I grew up with a grandfather that brought me very often uh, to the Musée d'Orsay and to the Musée Parmontan as a kid in Paris. That stayed with me, and uh, the monumentalism and uh, and the power of these colors of the purples in the, in the Nafia stayed with me. And uh, as I travel a lot in Morocco, being very close, I have a father living there. I discovered a very very strong pigment called the amazonite, and the amazonite is a is a is a chemical is a chemical uh, quartz that basically uh, uh, turns into a very 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 powerful purple uh, with water. And uh, I, I basically spent a year and a half uh, working on, on that uh, specific uh, pigment and using all the hues it could give me. Yes, the same way I, I travel a lot in Morocco, I love uh, using um, material that I find in the market. And uh, one of them is uh, the tent fabric that the Berbers used to do the Caridal tent. And, uh, I started painting on that, but it has also echoed uh, my own nomadism. I'm a man that's been basically traveling uh, from place to place since the Iranian Revolution of 79. And, uh, and I have that in me. So working on, 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 on tent fabric uh, actually echoes to some kind of lost identity uh, that comes quite importantly to support the idea of the organic series. Uh, the Persian influence, uh, I don't know if you watch closely uh, in the way it developed uh, the red linearities in the organic series, uh, I kind of developed my own calligraphy uh, in a very abstract way, in a very uh, intuitional way. I see uh, a rhythm that I can find uh, in, in, in Persian calligraphic art uh, in some of these paintings. So, I mean, that would uh, actually um, bring us uh, to what the link between uh, our culture, our Persian culture, and or my Persian culture and these paintings have. But then again, uh, the link with nature, uh, poetry, and, um, and how to say, the love of beauty um, 
kind of always have uh, their importance in my art, and I think uh, you couldn't get more Persian than that.